in this video we're going to share with you some tips and one of the best kept secrets and uses of training.gov.au. Did you know that there are around 5,000 RTOs across Australia and counting? That means huge employment possibilities in a rapidly growing education sector. Now that you're on your way to being a qualified trainer and assessor, if you're not already, you can be part of it too. Here's how to use training.gov.au as an unofficial but very effective job hunting tool. It is a slightly complicated process, but if you are looking for work as a trainer and assessor, it's well worthwhile giving it a go. There are a few ways you could go about this, but this seems to be the most thorough and effective. Before you begin, you'll need to use the techniques dealt with in a previous video on how to find the code for a qualification that you feel you are qualified and experienced to teach. For example, if you were experienced within the community services sector, you might search for CHC 30108, which is the code for the Certificate 3 in Community Services work. Qualification codes should all start with three letters followed by five digits. So you've found the code for the qualification you want to get a job teaching and assessing. Let's begin. Step 1. Go to training.gov.au and click Reports on the main menu. Step 2. Click RTO Reports and find the one that says RTO Report. Step 3. Now follow carefully here because you don't want to restrict your information. Leave the first two fields blank. For the list of registration managers, tick All. Technically, you could limit it to your state or territory here, but because of all the changes occurring in VET at the moment, you may not get accurate results. Leave the next four fields alone and for this one, Registration status, select Current. Step 4. Carefully enter the qualification code that you collected earlier. Leave the remaining fields blank, then click View Report. Now you could work with the information here, but it's a bit difficult to navigate with, so what we're going to do is Step 5. Export the report data. For most users, I'd suggest reporting to the Acrobat PDF file format. If you're an experienced user, you could export it as a CSV comma delimited format, which if you open in a spreadsheet program, will give you more power in narrowing down and sorting your results. But for the sake of simplicity, let's just download the Acrobat PDF file format by selecting it here in the list and clicking export. What you have just downloaded is a document with the names and contact details of all the RTOs in Australia that are registered to deliver the qualification you want to teach. Also, in most cases, the contact persons listed are usually quite a senior person within the organisation, often the owner or the manager. Step 6. Sort through the data and compile a list. Depending on how many RTOs deliver this qualification, you may have quite a long list of places to sort through. So what you are looking for is mainly the RTOs that are within your geographical area. Keep in mind, however, that many RTOs in fact have facilities all over the country and this will only list the location of the head office or registered office. For maximum effectiveness, I would recommend sorting manually. However, if you wanted to speed up the process a bit, you could use your PDF viewer's built-in search tool, usually found by holding down the control button and pressing F for find. There you can try searching for various words such as nearby towns or suburbs or even postcodes. Step 7, the final step. Once you've compiled a nice big list of places to contact, you can start the classic job hunting method of cold canvassing and networking. But this time, you have the unique advantage of knowing the name and contact details, usually of the key decision maker. 
And as you may be aware, research has shown that sometimes more than half of the positions vacant are never actually advertised and the jobs end up being filled through contacts and networking. This is very much the case with RTOs as well. It is of course outside the scope of this video to go into details about the best methods for canvassing and networking as a job seeking method. However, some searching online will quickly reveal plenty of tips and techniques on how to do this. In our opinion, a good method is a quick friendly phone call to introduce yourself, inquire about positions and then follow up with an email. Be sure to tell the RTO owner that you found them through training.gov.au and they will be impressed with your initiative and insider knowledge. I wish you all the very best of luck with your search and a rewarding career in training and assessment.